The temperature is hot, as is competition, at Australia's inaugural Northern Territory Outback Games. It's an event that showcases some of the country's more unique homegrown sports, like sandbar soccer, or rather football played on an uneven patch of beach. The crowd is small but vocal, and not always keeping their eye on the match. But the so-called athletes must always be alert during competition. The swimming one requires us swimming with the crocodiles in the, in the water hole. It's a race, so how far is the race? Uh, oh, it's really far. I don't even know if we're going to make it. Yeah. Australia's tropical northern territory is one of the country's more unique tourist destinations. It's the birthplace of the Australian stereotype. There's sun and sand, crocodiles and deadly jellyfish, and the idea that life is too short to be taken too seriously. But with its remote location in what's known as the outback, far from Australia's major business hubs, visitor numbers have dropped sharply in the wake of the global financial crisis. The Outback Games are an exercise in putting the Northern Territory back on the tourist trail. We're just trying to be out there in the marketplace 365 days a year, really celebrating what the Territory is about. This is just a great way of indicating to the world that this place is different. It really is a different part of Australia. Swing over the top! Yeah! A part of Australia where athletes must hurdle their way through a hobby horse, or in this case, hobby camel, equestrian. But it's the thong marathon that requires the most stamina and preparation. In Australia, a thong is a piece of footwear, not an item of intimate apparel as in other countries. The race gets off to a flying start and they all know there can only be one winner. But even the losers here don't take it to heart. So it's a great uh, mentality to have as an athlete. If you don't win, don't worry, have a beer, relax, it's all good. The right attitude to have at a competition where the top award is a golden thong.